Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Very sorry, everybody. Some people saw me. Let me put this on. Thank you. I like that. Taking the vibe, y'all. So, uh, I've been here trying to make this work for some time. For some reason, I changed the setting from my uh, YouTube. YouTube account, like, you know, Studio YouTube, and it kind of messed me up. Like, it really did. My God. Can't believe it took me all this long to, to just refigure it out. Sorry. Also using a different computer. But I'm here. And I saw a few of you popping up while I was trying to set up the whole thing. But it didn't work. I don't know why it wasn't working. So, sorry. Let me, uh, I'm going to chill a little bit while you guys are coming in. in a whiskey glass. Got a lot to talk about today. I see you. Um, Goatified, Angel Souza, Mary Giro, Matt Is, my Rob, Fab, Jera, gotcha, gotcha. So, like I said, we here. I'm here for you guys. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm gonna do this one. Or I'm gonna do that one. Okay. Okay. Actually, I'm so used to. Uh, you know what happens when I wear sunglasses? I don't have to worry about where I'm looking at. You know, like I can look here or I can look here. But with our glasses, it's like, I don't know if I have to look up here. Sometimes I'm confused. I look at the cam and I look at myself right here. Anyway, I'm ready to start to talk to you. I've missed you. I said I would come here and here I am. But it takes some time for others to know that I'm here. So what I should do is I'm gonna do this. I'm trying to let people know that I'm here. Here we go. You see me do my thing. Here we go. Hey guys, sorry it took me some time to get online, but I'm here right now. I'm on YouTube, my accounts, doing my thing, about to start. Got delayed, but I'm here now. Let's go, join me. Just like that. Do it, put it up, and it's done. Today, ultra connected. Yeah, so um, I, mean, I don't even know where to start, and I really don't know. The last time we talked, the last time I really had a live situation with you was with uh, I think it was with Tessa from Justine, and we gave you some tips about how to boost your immune system, of course, because of the coronavirus and everything going on in the world, suddenly health has become a very important factor in our lives, more than people could ever imagine. From the start, I've, you know, from, as long as I can remember, 
one of the main subjects that I always covered at one point or another during our conversations was that you had to invest in health. Invest in health, invest in the bank of health because of the fact that it will allow you to do a lot more because it's very simple. It's nothing, um, you know, it's nothing scientific. It's just very logical as far as like what you do when you are healthy, you know, and um, I'm so glad that through the years I was able to, um, to focus on that part of my life and it's gotten me so much further, so much further than I, that I could have ever gone. You know, so uh, this has been one of my main subjects that I've been trying to convey to you week after week. Long hold and behold, this thing came around, you know, this virus and What a virus does essentially is attack your immune system. So if your immune system isn't up to par regarding the fight, you know, your bone marrow sends out those T cells and those B cells and bam, like a commando, he goes, they go like they march. They march, they march, they march, they bam, 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 bam. There's a battle that takes place. Bah, 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 bah. And usually if your immune system is, is strong, then you will, you will survive it. You'll make it, you'll go through it. There'll be, of course, side effects to this battle, you know, so everything takes place inside and you'll feel like fever and shivering and all that stuff taking place, depending on how strong the virus is, but then you will survive, boom. And now we're faced with, with something that seems to target your weak points, whether it's obesity and, and uh, cardiovascular and high blood pressure, high blood pressure, diabetics, and other, and other ailments that you have. So when I heard all those things coming up, like, And I was like, now more than ever, I really have to, because I'm here to, to give you good vibes and give you good energy. I'm every day doing the best I can to become the best version of myself. And I'm here because I want to give back. I want to give back. I want to give good vibes. I want you to feel good. I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, my business is the, the business of music and uh, I've been in it for a long time and it's been quite a journey, as you know, you know, I, I've told you before, you know, from one day to the next, I lost everything and I was in a state of shock. And um, during this very intense experience, I was able to discover myself. And they say, what well, doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So I started focusing on the, on the right things. And I use this example, but I'm just saying like right now, let's make some changes. Let's make some changes to the way we, we do things because to segue into, you know, the now and what's happening to, to you and what's happening to me and now I'm looking at my life because the health part is out of the way. I've always invested in, 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 uh, in my health and I'm so glad that, you know, whatever's been hitting me while I'm traveling, my immune system is able to fight it. But on another subject is like our, our, our livelihood, you know, how we make money, how we survive has been hit like severely. I mean, everything for me has been canceled. So, you know, when you're faced with, with that, suddenly you're like, whoa, wow. So you start to look at your life and see holes in your armor, 
you know, so you thought your heart, your armor was like, boom, was like solid. There was no, nothing can take you down in case of whatever. We never saw this coming. I mean, that just came in out of, oof, out of nowhere, you know, and, um, but it's here. And we're all stranded, we're all like quarantined, if you respect the rules. And, and we're here, you know, and, and we're here and trying to now having to, to hold on. We're having to hold on because of the fact that when we get out of this tunnel, we're gonna have to hit the ground running. And also what, what are we supposed to do right now? You know, so that's what that's just the first thing I told myself like the first week. You know, I'm just sharing with you, I'm just telling you what happened to me, my, my thought process. I was like, whoa, you know, like email after emails, you know, coming in into my inbox. It was like, okay, this has been canceled, this has been canceled, this has been canceled. I'm like, whoa, okay. So we're looking at like half the year is 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 canceled right now. No, so um, so what should I do? You know, and at first it's it's it is kind of scary. But I've gone in, I've been in scary situation, and there's the fight or flight. And I'm not one to run away. I'm gonna tell you that right now. And I'll go to your questions, and I'm just trying to. This is my monologue. And we're going to take it from there. You can ask me questions, you know. But we're here to 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 empower each other here, you know. And we're here to give each other good vibes, positive vibrations, which in turn will give us the strength to stand up and go to war, go to fight, you know. Um, I have the I've had the ability to 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 be able to handle stress stressful situation and i'm a very resourceful guy i want the same for you so this is why i'm taking you down my gauntlet and what i've already kind of like figured out and i'm sure that you know we all have more times on our hands that's for sure it's clear very clear and so what i've been doing is like i've been studying i've been Powering myself because knowledge is power. So when we talk about our armor and seeing those 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 holes really appearing and getting bigger, then suddenly you look at your your system, your equation, and how you've done things and what's missing to what you've been doing, what's lacking. And that's what I've been you know, really focusing on because now I'm seeing that because I'm not on the road, suddenly I'm like stuck at home, like, wow, okay. But the one thing that I've told you about is I've been making a lot of music, lots and lots and lots of music between the end of last year and the beginning of this year. A lot. Which means I'm sitting in a lot of music and a lot of collaborations. And I was just about to sit down with um, <laughs> with some major labels and start to make a plan. But, you know, I'm looking at it all right now from a different, different perspective. Because when we get out of this tunnel, uh, I don't know what's going on with them. I have no idea. But I sure do need to implement a plan for life after the fact. And that's what we should all do, whatever business we're in. You know, it's not just, like I say, it's not just, you know, I'm here, my business is music. We all come from different walks of life, but I'm also, I, I, and I said, I want the best for you. I've been missing you and I want you to survive this, you know, so, I said, I'm sure some of you have been doing some research on like how you should move coming out of the situation. You know, uh, most of us have lost our livelihood, livelihood, 
We can't go to the office. We can't go on the road. We can't travel. We can't do nothing. But when I say we can't do nothing, it ain't true. There's a lot that we can do while we are in this downtown, downtime. This downtime can be looked at as a curse or a blessing. You know, so I, I try to look at any negative situation. I try to approach it from a positive standpoint. You know, try to bring a like a, a positive perspective to, perspective to this. You know, and like I said, I'm just freestyling like right now. I just didn't know the title is finding ways to cope with it all. While I was trying to figure out the past 45 to an hour, what the hell is going on? Because I really wanted to see your questions on the side of the screen. I could have taken this and, you know, go like that. But this is not what I wanted to do. And this is just an opening statement to let you know kind of like where I've been, you know, what I've been thinking of. You know, even the working out situation, I can't go to the gym anymore. It's closed. So, you got to work. Outdoor, indoor, you got to find ways. There are lots of great apps on the phone that you can use. You know, simple 15 to, to half hour workout. We got to do, we got to, like I said, we got to be like water. I mean, this is even more relevant than ever. Be like water. Adapt to this new terrain. Right, y'all? Pow, 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 pow. Let me give you some of that good stuff. Pow! I'm trying to give you my best. Therefore, I breathe. In one of the videos that I did with um, Tessa von der Steyn, the author, medical therapist, health specialist, I talked about Wim Hof. Uh, you should go check him out. Wim, W I N H O F. And um, he's a very interesting man who's find ways through breath to activate different part of his immune system. And um, I've been um, using some of these tools the past two years and it has enhanced my life until maximum it's too long of a story so I'd like you to go check him out again tools to cope with what's going on to cope with the stress because it is very stressful right now for everybody there's not a person I've talked to who is kind of like of kilter of balance as a result of the world being on hold right now. And like I said, it doesn't mean that you have to be on hold as well. You can keep moving. There's many ways for whatever industry you're in, you know, to move forward. So now I'm gonna go straight to your questions because like I said, that was a that was a monologue. I had to get stuff off my chest to talk about, you know, how I've been moving. I've missed you. Some of you told me you missed me. And I've, I've been missing this conversation. You know? Okay. So I'm going to go, and that's what I love with this. Um, these things are. Okay, look at the top. So let me see questions. Okay. Oh, okay, Marie. Your projects in France with the coronavirus episode. Well, everything is on hold. Everything is. But I'm still in in um, in connection. I'm still connected to the people over there. We're talking quite often every week and trying to prepare life after the fact. And we have so much and 
had so much work to handle and take care. Well, we have more time to handle that. We have more time to prepare our strategy. We have more time to let people know, hey, hold up. You know, I got a, I got a new track called Hold Up, which came out for some of you who just come into the feed, who've never heard of me, or watching the feed after the fact. Fab Morvan has been very busy making some music. And uh, we're, at, as a matter of fact, in the charts in France, in talks with major labels, 40 track to take it worldwide with the help of the major. And, um, but we were part of an independent and then we would be connecting with the major, but all that has stopped. But it doesn't mean that you can't go and check it out. That's the beauty about about this thing right now is that for the people who love music, for the people who find strength in listening to music, who find positive energy, who find calmness and balance, people put music on, some people work with music, some people meditate with music, some people try to figure things out, they try to figure themselves out right now. Bet you in most homes, Spotify is on. It's been on for me. I don't think I've ever listened to music that much, like in the background. I usually don't do that. You know, I, I go for some because I work on production, I work on songwriting, so sometimes I, I need and I love the silence. I might put some classical music in the back. But at some point, I turn it off. And then I, I focus on some writing. I want it's time to go to production. It's a different thing. But I never had that much time to listen to so much music. So I'm, I'm like, I'm taking advantage of the fact that why not? You know, research things. I have more time to do things that I never had the time to do. You see? So I'm really using my time to a maximum. Mary, I'm still responding to your question. I think I did, right? I think we covered it up. So regarding that, we're not we're not stopping. We actually are ramping the energy, and we know that this time that's being lost, because let's face it, the time we've we've just lost is gone. Those three weeks, about three weeks, you know, like two hundred, it's three weeks. We've been in quarantine, our loss. This life, the life we knew as we knew it, is lost. So let's focus on the now. And, um, you know, I read something somewhere, it was a while back, it was about, about time. And that if we would correlate um, life, money you know we spend money right but how about spending our life wisely life equal time and when when I, I when I read that it really put things in perspective for me like boom so from that point on I was aware of like the day starting then the middle of the day and the end of the day. And I've taken that into, into consideration and living every day and, and, and taking everything I could out of a day and make sure, and making sure that after, after the day was done and gone, I could write on a piece of paper this is what I've done, this is what I've done, this is what I've done. And those things are getting me closer to where I need to be. And I've been doing that for some years now. This process that I've been using. So, Mary, we ain't stopping. Trust me, we're ramping up things. Okay, so let's go and see what else we got. This is very different. Like, 
I know that everyone feels so different. I myself feel so different. Like, I'm in Amsterdam right now, and um, it's a vibrant city. You know, there's noise, there's energy. You can feel the electricity, you know, in the air. Every day feels like um, Sunday. And I'm used to, to feel energy, and I, I grab all. I grab a hold of that energy, and then I, you know, I use it. You know, it inspires me. I feel that. There's none of that anymore. So it's up to us, it's up to you, to keep yourself inspired. I need you guys. This is why I'm here. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Cats, how am I since Los Angeles? Well, it's been, you know, LA was a great trip, you know. Let's go, let's go to Los Angeles, California. Sunny Los Angeles, California. Everything started great. Everything was beautiful. And then Corona started to like make more noise and more noise and and it sounded more and more serious. And I started to see like you could see that wave coming. Hold up a second. If this continues the way it does, we're going to be in lockdown. So I kind of anticipated it. They closed the borders and airports on the 11th in the United States. And I came back on the 9th. So I was, I was lucky. Otherwise, it would have been a problem. And I had to come back here because I had a bunch of things that I'm working on here. You know, so uh, I was very lucky to get back and to come back healthy as well. So I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm focused. I'm, I'm extremely focused. This pause on time has put me into a, a state of like, boom. I have to be extremely aligned with myself. It's not a time for me to go to sleep. There are a lot of changes, like I said, that are going to take place and it's kind of forced me internally to realize that, okay, uh, some things that I was talking about, you know, Something that I was uh, thinking about doing later. Well, I'm 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 in the process right now to looking at the logistics of what might have to take place. It's just a reality, you know. And uh, it's part of being a a business-minded person as well. So as much time as I've been spending on myself and aligning myself and making sure that I'm focused and aware because if you're not right in your mind and focused you're not going to be able to feel and follow your instinct your instinct is is the most important one right now you've got to feel your gut and this is why you have to like remove all that noise that is surrounding you and making sure that you can hear, you can hear yourself like clearly. Because we gotta make some moves, everybody, everybody of us, we gotta make moves right now. We cannot stay idle. You know, when I answer a question, then I go into another and another and another. So I might have answered some of your questions already. Yeah, I mean, you know, quarantine is necessary. You know, I've, uh, I've, I believe that all of us have been um, watching the news. I don't really watch the news. You know, I, I try to research specialists. Like, I go check out economists. Uh, Patrick Pat David is one great one. By the way, if you didn't see my interview with Patrick Pat David, that was a great one, an hour and 40 minutes. 
I was due for a new interview, an in-depth interview, and um, sure did. It's so, you know, go, go, go check it out. It's, uh, it's a great one, definitely. And through him, I've discovered a lot more interesting people who know exactly what I'm talking about, whether it's finance, whether it's, um, well, it's mostly finance because it's the number one entrepreneur YouTube account. So it's mostly about entrepreneur and a frame of mind and a mindset. But he brings in also generals and he talk about you know, China or talk about 5G. Um, he brought some scientists to talk about coronavirus, people who work for government working with the government for years. And um, I've been trying to get myself abreast of the right information. And that's why I'm trying to make uh, the moves. Because I want to make sure that whatever moves I make in the near future is proper. So make sure you follow the right people. You know? So I'm glad you're here. I'm here to, to you know, tell you about some things that I've learned Things are coming to my path, and you can go check it out too. All right? Patrick Bell David, good guy to follow. Okay. Listen, we're a team. You know, and I, I think that. What the world needs right now is for people to remain positive. You know, as a, as, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, some people say, oh, that word positive, it sounds so hippie-like. But no, y'all, it's not, it's not. Not at all. Being positive is necessary and more than ever. But it shows you that positive energy, positive vibration, positive behavior, whether it's, you know, mental, physical, your actions, you know, when you keep it all positive, it makes you move closer to what you're supposed to be getting close to in a healthy way. So this is why I'm not the only one talking to a community. I've created a community by doing this this account. Some of you follow me through my other community, you know, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, you know, and uh, I'm trying to create this ripple effect of positive energy. And I try to, to get it to you and then you pass it to somebody else and to somebody else and to somebody else and to somebody else and to somebody else. And because it's necessary, really. I'm here because I'm a musician, I'm a singer-songwriter, and um, I'm trying to promote my music, of course, you know, because I'm in the music business, I love music. One of the primary, the primary reason why you came here in the first place was to learn more about my music and myself, right? But there's not just that. Life is a lot more than that. Life is a rainbow of things, layers of things. And what is music? Music is life. Life is music to me. And music being a medium through which I can express myself the best, I, through my travels, you know, through, through time, I've learned a lot of things and I've observed a lot of things and you know, I try to put some of that stuff in what I do and um, hold up you know to talk about hold up hold up is one of those you know for the people who don't know that I have a song right now called hold up you can find it on Spotify and it talks about that duality that duality within ourselves you know one side says yes yes no, waking up in the morning and having the ability to go to work, not wanting to go to work, wanting to stay home in bed. Players 
to this. And the more uh, I think about this, this song and I see what we're going through, I'm like, wow, it's so relevant in a way. You know, and uh, when I was going through the process of writing the song, I thought about everything I'm talking to you right now. You know, this, this, this having to push yourself having another side of yourself that, that wants to go in another way that's not necessarily good for you because what is good and what is bad, you know, it, it's, that's another concept. You know, what is bad, okay, it's going to take you a, down a path that might necessarily be good for you or will slow you down from getting where you're supposed to as opposed to the positive and the good side will will have you avoid some mistakes. But mistakes are necessary in the path of life. I've had my shares and I've gone through my journey in front of you. You know, and uh, some of you left me, dropped me, <laughs> you know, and um, some of you never left. You stayed. You stayed by my side and you, you, you pushed me and it gave me love and that love, I put that love into a little box, you know, my positive box. And uh, through the years, well, that little box, when I look back now, that little box is enormous. You know, that little box allowed me to, to um, thicken my skin. You know, I, I believe that my skin, I have the rhino skin now. Okay. It's thick. Nothing can really hurt me because of the trauma and the pain and the journey that I've gone through. Listen, I said, I look at my, my fears or I look at the danger and I analyze it and I take it, you know, face to face. So when you do that, something happened, then the, 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 the fear, you know, it is peeled away from you. And then you start to like, okay, I can handle that. I can handle the situation. And this is what I'm telling you, like, you know, don't don't freeze right now. Don't freeze. It's not the time to freeze. I mean uh, so like I said, man, this conversation is very different. I don't know where I'm going. None of us know where it's going. And when I talk about, I don't know where I'm going, I don't know where I'm going as far as like, how I'm gonna continue my business. I don't know how I'm gonna continue my business. But, pause on time has forced me to implement, to implement a plan on how I should continue and pursue my dreams. So go for it. Don't hesitate. Don't be afraid. Take action. Let's go back to the questions. All right, let's go. All right, uh, Mary, I'm just going to cite what you wrote because I, I like what you wrote. Humans are not stronger than nature. It's a conclusion for this epidemic episode. We're nothing versus a microscopic virus. It's the message of birth to us. I've covered that too. You're right. Listen, it's pause on time. You know, has a lot of people thinking. And, and I see it too, you know, like 
a lot of people have been more introspective about life in general, life, the life we lead, how we relate to each other, brothers and sisters, because we are brothers and sisters, you know, and uh, we are one living organism. We're human beings, right? And um, we haven't been treating some. They haven't been treating our surroundings, the planet, also animals. Not very well. Not very well. It's a wake of call. We've got to do much better. As a matter of fact, the fact that that planes are not flying, cars are not driving, pollution is going down. I mean, it's another way to look at it, you know? The air is getting cleaner. It's definitely, if you think about it. It's a time for us as, uh, as, as, um, as human beings to change the way we've been living. We really do. And I really hope, and I said that in the message yesterday, I really hope that people that were living, if you talk about yin and yang, positive, negative, you know, those two live in the, in the same environment. They, you know, they complement each other at the same time. But I would love for people that, are, that were more pessimistic, negative towards their brothers and sisters, have them realize that you know, one roof, one nation, the human race, and have the balance, you know, go to the positive place. I know things, when, this are like, when things are like this, all right, it would be good to have some room because love is all love is everything and that's and that's one of the things that we are now realizing you know people have more time for families people have been realizing that wow i work so hard i work so much i have this tunnel vision and i don't pay attention to my to my surroundings just hit the ground running every morning, like go, 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 come home. And then you don't know what the other person is really doing, how they're doing emotionally, how they're growing, who are they? So uh, as a matter of fact, I heard that there was a lot of divorce happening. And that might stem from that part. People go to work. They go to work, they work, they work, they work, they work, you know. You gotta make that money. You gotta, even if you don't like the job, you gotta make that money. You make that money, you make that money. You were someone that you that you loved maybe dearly at the beginning, but due to circumstances, you know, you, you gotta focus on on the money. You gotta make that money. You got that big house, so you gotta make that money. And then, you know, something like that happened, boom. You're forced to stay with that person like 24-7. And then you realize, whoa, who is this? It could be one of the scenarios. I'm making that up, but I've heard that a lot of people are like not connecting, not seeing things eye to eye. They didn't relate anymore. And they were wondering who who was that person that person. You know, they were people people changed and they went into different directions. It's just sad if their kids in the middle of all that, though. I come from a divorced family, so I know all about divorces. Yeah, life as we know it is way different. It has us think very differently. And it's not a bad thing. 
to have the mirror come up and being forced because we're forced. It's like being, um, you know, it's like, you know, when you're a kid and you don't do your, you don't do your, your homework and then uh, your parents say, hey, you've been bad. You've been a very bad boy. You know what? Pass the rest. That's what it feels like. Feel like we're under house arrest, and uh, not only under house arrest, but we've been given a lot of homework, and we've got to learn. And I hope that we'll we'll we're all putting our heart and soul into it, and possibly this this homework that we're doing home. It's going to transform us into much more powerful beings because I myself can sense that I am growing immensely. It's changed me and uh, my equation, you know, for my life and what I wanted for my life, out of my life, my goals that I wanted to attain, how to get to those goals and it's all music related music health and of course the business is part of it there's the business of music business as well you know but it, it really 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 forces you to to see like what do you really want out of life what do you really I like this conversation today because it's a different conversation. Because this pause in time makes it real. It makes it real. And I'm so glad that a lot of the things that I've talked to y'all in the past are relevant more than ever today. So I was on point. I am on point. And I'll never stop to be on point. Everything I've talked about here, whether it was health, Love of self, love is all, love is everything. And all the subjects that I talk about in my music are relevant more than ever right now. So I know that all the music that I have written is in the same vein, you know? So, you know, without saying too much, you know, I'm really looking at like how things are gonna be after this. And we're going to have to move accordingly. So, you know, sometimes it takes something like that to make you realize, you know, we don't need nobody. When we talk about majors and we talk about independence and the way things are now, you know, for artists, there's a lot of advantages. A few years back, you know, five years, ten years ago, you say, oh, independence, you know, it's cool, yeah. Nowadays, ooh, we got a lot of tools that we can use and stand on our own two feet. And, and that goes for all kinds of entrepreneurs out there. All right? Let's go to the questions. I know I digress, but I know that you guys can get something out of this dialogue that we're having. I've been doing it like that, and I think it works like that. I can talk. Merci, Stone Cold. Ça va, ça va, ça va, ça va. Euh, je vais passer en français aussi. Hein. Je vais passer faire le vlog en français jusqu'après. Alors, je pense que bon, ça ira beaucoup plus rapidement une fois que j'ai... Parce que là, je l'ai fait. J'ai pu le faire. Je sais comment ça marche maintenant. Parce que bon, il y a eu des changements avec le Studio Classic on YouTube. The software I use to do this live stream. Things change, so that's why it took me so long to get on today. And to get into the groove of things, you know. But like I said, Hey, things always happen the way they're supposed to. So, don't fight it. I was a little mad at first. I was like, yo, why is it taking so long? Why is it not working? But then I went back into my Zen mode that pulls me back in because I've been keeping it like really just like connected on all levels. And I was like, hey, pull back. 
do like what it grow. You gotta practice what you preach. You know what I'm saying? It's very important. But hey, I'm not a machine, and no one is a machine. But make sure that when you you get out of pocket, you know you can pull yourself back in real quick, like rapidly. You know, because otherwise it takes you places where you don't want to be. And then you you know you create cortisol, cortisol, and then the stress, and then you get confused. And right now, the last thing you want to be is confused, because <laughs> the situation is already confusing enough. Right? Okay, I'm gonna look for something colorful. I will find a lot more now, so I'm so there was something that I saw and I lost it. Dang it. Ah, that's a good question. Um, during uh, Patrick by David and um, Mario Lopez interviews, why didn't play? Um, why didn't they play? Hold up, I don't know. I don't know if it was. Uh, I've mentioned it. You know, I guess you know when I do those interviews, people are. more or less interested in uh, the past. And that has been one of my, <laughs> what's the word? I won't use that word. I was gonna use one word, but I'm not gonna use that word. Listen, in order to move forward, you gotta close that, that loop, right? And um, I've gotta talk about the past. Wherever I go, I've got to talk about the past. The beauty about talking about the past year after year is that I'm more able to articulate what I was what I was feeling back then, how I feel about it right now. And a result as a result of going through what I've gone through in the past. It made me into the person that I am today and will take me to another place. I don't know where that place is, but I know that what I do, what I do in the moment, in the now, I'm affecting the future. And um, looking back is something that I'm forced to when I talk or sit down in interviews because they are so intrigued because for a long time I didn't do no interviews. I kept it really low key because I was trying to like, you know, rebuild, my, rebuild myself because I knew that, you know, like there would be life after, after all of that, that whole deal, you know, so I had to gather my strength, find my direction, find myself, see what mattered to me, see if music was really what I wanted to be in. There was no doubt about the fact that I love music, but what, did I want to stay in the music business? Because music business is rough, super rough. Some people are like, whoa, what do you want to stay in this industry? What do you want to stay after everything they've done to you? And I'm like, yo, when I look at music and what it does for me and what it does for the world, and I put it in the balance, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna keep doing music and I'm gonna deal with the music business. And that's it. You know, so yeah, it's unfortunate that they didn't, but I'm not worried because I'm implementing so many things right now. But in the end, when Fab Morvan, formerly known as Milvanelli, goes into an interview, you know, out of that, the past will become smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And the, the, the present and the future will become more and more of a conversation. 
So don't worry about it. I'm on it. I'm fighting for it. Step by step, can't fight it. They want to hear about the past because a lot of people didn't hear about the past. That's it. And a lot of people are discovering my past. And as a result of people wanting to talk about my past, I'm also talking about the present, a little bit about the future. And the people that are really interested in uh, who is Fab Morvan, they go into the past. But, you know, you can spend so much time into the past, then you're going to go into the present. And like, oh, that's what he's doing right now. That's it. So there's no, you know, I'm not losing anything about, I'm not losing anything because I'm talking about the past. You know, I'm gaining. But, yeah. It would be nice to talk about current and future. It's all good. You know, I'm a very patient man. This is why, you know, I call myself the turtle. But the turtle is a sound of longevity. And the turtle is steady and always finishes the race. Man, I can't believe it's 56 minutes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I gotta take more of your questions. But you know, when you some of you, some of the questions that I pick, you know, I know where they can lead me, you know, and I really want to answer as much and cover as much as possible during this time that I'm spending with you, because it's been a while since we've talked. Next one. Yeah, yeah, we're going to change after this. I hope that everybody changes changes the way they they move. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't like to talk about that, 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 like, let's go a little bit more. Let's go. Because, you know, some quite some time, you know, you, you guys have some questions that are very personal. And I am, a, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I'm as open as I can be. But there's some things where, like, I'm not going to, because I'm, I don't think that's something that I would, I personally would ask somebody else. That's why. So if I personally wouldn't ask that of somebody else, then it goes the other way as well. You know? So that's why. That's why I'm not answering or addressing it. You know who you are. Go, 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 go. No, we're not going to give up. I mean, you know, I just saw someone, someone... It was more of a statement, but when I see the word give up, we're not going to give up. No, we're not going to give up. Because when you give up, you give up on yourself and on yourself only. So while some are doing this, some are doing, Ooh. some are doing this, some are on the cusp, they don't know, I'm okay, I'm okay. They can feel something is coming. They can feel they got to do something, but they're afraid. Don't be afraid. Face it dead on. Go for it. And the more you face whatever that you're afraid of, you'll see it for what it is. And you're like, you know what? I can do this. And my coffee is cold. Here we go. So oh, that language, I don't know what that is. Uh, uh, Kveta Beryova. You always write me in, in your language and there's no translation here. I don't think so. Let me see. No. See, so I, I don't know what you're saying. Movani one. I'm good. Okay, let's see. I don't know what the rest of the question is, but here we go. Fab, which one of four elements you and Rob are, if you could choose somehow? I feel you are water, calm, lively. Rob is fire, passionate, and intense. Hmm. So 
you say that I am come lively though question mark. Um, I'm extremely passionate extremely passionate and intense and calm and lively so I'm all for I don't think I'm just calm and lively passionate and intense I got to have all four. I'm all four. I'm all of those because I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be who I am and I wouldn't be able to create what I create and be who I am on stage. You know, I gotta be intense. It's important. But as long as being calm, lively, passionate, and intense is balanced. I like that. That was a good one, Sylvie. Very nice. Okay. Okay, Simona. What do I do when I meet negative people? Do I avoid them or try to change them? Oh, I used to do that a long time ago. Don't do that. Avoid. Avoid negativity in all forms. Because it's better. It's better to, 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 um, to avoid negative people because somehow, you know, negativity can be like um, a drop of ink in the water. And sometimes I'm sure you've noticed that when you are around negative people, negative things happen when negative things happen you will be affected and it will affect your life so avoid at all costs negative people keep away stay away avoid them <laughs> thank you veronica i'm here for you guys do my best to come here. Whoa, we're past an hour. <laughs> but hey, it is necessary, right? Because, man, it's crazy out here. But the sun is shining. I'm feeling the sun. The sun is coming in. It's changing my mood, you see? So if you can, be safe if you go out. But if the sun is popping in and it gets into your house, go get some. Open the window, try to get that. And if, if you don't get that much sun, take that vitamin D. It's very important. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm not going to be here too long, you know. But, hey, it is, it is a special, how can I say? Um, it, it's, a, it's a return to Fab's Fun Day vlog. And it's a special one because of everything that's going on. I'm glad I'm here. An hour to me, it felt like nothing because time is flying because I'm having a good time with you guys. And I'm trying to connect with you. And I'm also, I'm also trying to figure it out too, just with you. This conversation is just, it, it's for us all. You know, we're just having a conversation, you know. And uh, sometimes, you know, you give me out of a small, out of a word or a question, I can definitely take it somewhere and make something out of it. And I hope that you are getting something out of it. I hope. I really hope. Because I am. You know, this conversation is like, it's solidifying and confirming. Because when you talk about things and you can hear them from a different perspective from here, because I'm listening to what I'm saying, I'm like, okay, all right, all right. I guess I'm, 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 some things that I was kind of sure of, you know, are becoming more and more real. And that those steps have, have to be taken. So, 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 so. 
Yours is our way up. Man, that means some attorneys are going to make some money. So if you are a divorce, divorce attorney right now, well, and you were thinking, damn, what am I going to do? Everything is going down. Well, here you go. Your business thinking, damn, what am I going to do? Everything is going down. Well, here you go. Your business is about to get some action. That's sad, though. I mean, you know, that shows goes to show you if people divorced, that means they were not supposed to stay together. That says something, something was missing. You know, it's just the way it is. It is terrible, especially if kids are involved. Ooh, that sucks. Okay, okay, Mavanya one. I see you. Lordy, you guys. You guys get like. <laughs> it's funny, huh? You guys are funny, man. Joko mm -hmm. Travels, how you doing? Of course, of course, of course. I'm trying to be as transparent as possible when it comes to how I feel and think. I think it's necessary. You know, because like I said, the reason why I built this community was to, was it, it's, it's a place for me to open myself to you, have a dialogue, and have us learn from each other as human beings but you know i'm gonna hit you up with some music and some of the subjects that we talked about are subjects that you triggered as a result when i go and start writing songs some of those conversations that we had you know will come back you know i don't like watching myself talk i don't I really don't. But I think like this one, I like to watch it because you know, it's a special one because of the fact that it's a moment in time. It's one for the books. It's something that we'll never, ever forget. The world stopped because of one of us. I mean, I would have, I would have never thought of anything like that. Like, that's not like a movie. type of movie you can't go out clubs restaurants any social environment is on lockdown the only place you can go to is a supermarket wow you know and then you can go to the park we still can go to the park here but it's kind of limited people people are good they're respecting the and abiding to the those new rules. Um, okay. Joker. Okay, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. You can always put me on the wall. Uh, what is that? I don't know how to. Uh, like I, there's some features on there that I've never tried. So I, I'm, I'm worried that if I push something, it's gonna do something, and <laughs> you know, because I don't know what that is like. I don't know what. Oh, so because oh, okay, I've never really looked into the the various features. So you can also add um, a moderator. Oh, wow! And you can do that too. Oh, really? Okay. I never, I never saw that. 
Okay. All right. Well, we've got to do that in the near future then. You know, we've got to do that with someone that's balanced, someone that's professional, though, huh? We don't want no crazy things on the channel. You know what I'm talking about? So if I bring a moder another moderator with me, I don't know what's possible. Okay, well, I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to pick someone. So if someone wants to be a moderator with me while we're at it, you know, you got you to gotta show me that you got some good questions. Because uh, I've had uh, a great opportunity to have April Sutton on my channel. We did an interview April Sutton. For the ones who follow me, for the ones who didn't see that interview, you should go check it out. It's pretty cool. And she had some amazing questions. I'm looking for some good questions because those good questions, they gave me cracking and helped me do what I need to do for you guys. Okay, I'll, I'll check it out. Send me that uh, on Twitter. And then I'll figure it out. Okay, but you can also, you know, yeah, in private message, you can send me a link and I'll go check it out. No problem. Celi Garcia. Hola, que paso, amiga. ¿Cómo estás? Well, an hour 11. You guys got me going, and, you know, the world got me going. The world got me thinking. Action equal reaction. It's crazy right now. Because every country around the world is reacting differently. You know, and uh, people are definitely affected, like, in a major way. You know, like, the livelihood, our livelihood is being threatened. And we are worried, and I hope that the people in charge are making the right decisions for us because we're not in charge. They're making the decisions for us, which I hate. I don't want that to be the situation. You know, I don't feel like we are. We're not in control. So this is why, right now, the fact that you know other people take decisions, make decisions for you. So when you look in your personal life, and you're like, you know what? In my life, my personal life, my immediate surroundings, I'm going to make sure that I can control as much as I can control. Even though we're in control of nothing. That's what I've learned with time. But um, there's something to be said about having people making decisions for yourselves. So... That's what I'm in the process of working on, you know, building something where I'm going to have control. And as an artist, to have control is one of the most beautiful things you could ever accomplish. But you can't do it alone, though. You know, when you build something, you know, there's elements to a business. There's partners that you have to bring into a business in order to make sure that whatever you're trying to do becomes successful. You're as good as your team. You know, so to be continued, you know, to be continued. Emil, have you always been so calm, or did you, or did it come to you as you got older? I've always been very calm. Actually, uh, I, I believe that I've become more calm with experience. With experience, because uh, I don't know. From nature, I am not the type of guy that speaks. <gasps> <laughs> I'm not that guy. You know, uh, when I'm on stage, I do my thumb. This is where I do my thing. This is where it goes out. <sighs> He goes out and he does his thing. But as a person, I, I believe that um, I like to listen 
and I learn a lot from listening and from observing. So from nature, I'm that type of guy. So that's why I, I, I believe that people who observe, people that are more quiet, get a lot more than a person that is so loud. They only hear themselves and they don't, they don't hear the surroundings. They don't take the time to listen to people. And this is why I, I love this medium because uh, as long as I can remember, I've always tried to pull my friends up, always. Always trying to find a solutions, solution for them. I'm trying to have them feel the way I feel. And what I'm trying to say, have them feel the way I feel, that means to find that certain serenity that I've been able to uh, to discover because it was not like like you said it was uh, I discovered it at an early age and as a result of life and trauma it brought me closer to this serenity and this calm because I noticed that when I would go towards this serenity and calm part of myself it would allow me to to see things very clearly and make different types of decisions as a result of the fact that I was so calm looking at the chaos. So when there's chaos, just like now, I take a few steps back and I look. Because you know when I paint, I don't know if any of you know that, but um, I'm a surrealist and when I start on the canvas or a paper, I put my pen on the paper and I move and I have this, I just go, I let go, I let go, I let myself go. And it's a great feeling to let go. And then I step back from the paper and I try to analyze it and see where I'm going to start to like make something out of that. You know, and that's kind of like how live my life and when I do this exercise because I, I, I find that for me art is an exercise it's like meditation calm trying to find solution trying to make something out of something and it keeps me calm and when I'm there like as a matter of fact my lips get numb and I think it's because it's being rerouted to a certain part of the brain that's the creative part of the brain and I've always been a, a creative type think that silence, you know, uh, Rick Rubin said, when you connect to silence, you connect to balance. And I, like I said, I'm that type of guy. I like to feel that balance because when I'm in, in balance, I move so much faster, so much faster. Anyway, guys. It was a great conversation. I see you guys are coming in a little later than, than, than thought. Sheena, we learn so much more when we listen. Yeah, but not get overlooked. Listening lets you speak up even stronger. Adrian. Yeah, I think that it's weird because in society, people think that when you're calm and quiet, and when you're calm and collected, people kind of undermine you as a person. They undermine your power. Don't get it twisted. Still, water runs deep. And the quiet ones make things happen naturally. Respect. Respect to those. Okay, Joker, good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Well, ah, it was fun. It was fun talking to you guys. It was a pleasure. It was really fun. So, um, it's time to say goodbye. Hey, 
What's up, Sheena? How you doing? Good to see you. I'm about to disappear, though. <clears throat> One love, one heart, let's get together and feel all right. One love, one heart, let's get together and feel all right. strong. Don't be afraid. Listen to your instinct. Pay attention to your brothers and sisters because we are family. One roof, one nation. One nation on the roof. Parliament from Cadillac. That's right. One of my favorite, favorite, all time favorite funk bands. It's hard to say goodbye, but I've got to go, y'all. Man, I talked for quite some time. <claps> Woo! We chopped it up today, but I think it was a must. It was a must. And people don't have that type of attention. It's way too long for people. But I'm not worried about how many people watch it. I don't care. What I care about is that People who've been listening today got something out of it. And that's the most important thing. If you got something out of it, you will affect, if the goal is to affect our surroundings and have that positive wave, this ripple effect take place and, and grow and gain momentum and become stronger and louder. That's it. You know, so. You know what they say, you know, build it and they will come. At some point, a lot of people will know that I'm here. This is how I roll. This is what I stand for. And I stand for positive energy. And that's why. Giving back is necessary as artists. As artists, we hit to, to, to elevate, to give people strength. We can do it for our music, but because of the new mediums that we have now, you know, whenever you're gonna listen to my music, you'll get a lot more of what I'm saying in those songs. You know, then they'll become, you know, much more. It'll become more interesting for you guys. And uh, I'm gonna disappear right now. I think I've been going for way too long. <laughs> So, pow, pow, pow. This is Fat More Than Yours Truly. Music is life, life is music. Over and out. Over and out. One love, take care, be strong, be safe, stay healthy, all that good stuff. Bam. I gotta end it now. Bam.